Everybody's been asking for a 7870 Crossfire video because I've got two of the uh, 7870 Ice Cube from HIS, and I've, I quite like them. It's the Gigahertz edition, so they're overclocked. And I thought I'd put them up against the 7970 that I got to play with and also the GTX 680. And that's what I did. Now, first thing I want to say is in Crossfire, I had a lot of problems. I mean, like, Crisis was running at, like, two frames per second. I don't know why. I reinstalled different drivers. I tried lots of different things. I looked on the Internet. Some other people got it to run. After about five hours, I decided that I should start outlining other videos because, yeah, I just didn't want to d dedicate all that, that time. So there's only a couple benchmarks here. Um, and the ending recommendation, I'm going to tell you guys to get a 7970, just because it seems to, 17970 seems to be way less headache and run with a lot of different games. But the GTX 680, if you can find one for around the same price, is also insanely good. So depending on what games you want to play, 7970, GTX 680, I do like better than Crossfire, just because I had a lot of a headache. Um, even, even sometimes the games are faster in Crossfire with two 7870s, too much headache for me. So, let's just go straight to the benchmarks. Battlefield 3, 1920 by 1200, everything at max. GTX 680, 83.27 frames per second. 7970, 59.28 frames per second. And uh, 7870, Ice Q, in crossfire, 104.48 frames per second. So there you can see the 7870 really, really does well in crossfire uh, in that game. So I did Surround and Ifinity with these. Uh, with NVIDIA Surround running at 5760 by 1050, the GTX 680, by itself, 32.41 frames per second. Uh, the 7970 uh, was at 35.96 frames per second, and the 7870 uh, Ice Q Crossfire, 43.8 frames per second. So you can see, again, the Crossfire is winning, um, and, and if you're just playing Battlefield 3 and no other games, then go ahead and go for Crossfire. But if you're going to be playing a multitude of games, you're going to have headaches with Crossfire. That's just from personal experience. Um, However, there I also want to note that uh, the Ifinity with the 7970 is faster than the GTX 680. Even though you know at the sm at the lower resolutions like 1920 by 1280 or 1200, the GTX 680 really just killed all. It just killed everything. I mean, it destroyed everything. So or destroyed the 7970 anyway. Uh, moving on, Metro 2033. This game is a monster. It just eats graphics cards. Uh, 1920 by 1200. One GTX 680, 42.20 frames per second. One 7970, 42.8 frames per second. And two 7870s in Crossfire, 48.2 frames per second. Moving up to Ifinity and NVIDIA Surround. 5760 by 1050. The GTX 680, 30.22 frames per second. 7970, 20 frames per second. And uh, two 7870 in Crossfire, 21 frames per second. So there, the NVIDIA wins at 5760 by 1200. Um, now, next up, I played Crisis 2, and the Crossfire just did not work. I mean, I know it's supposed to work with Crossfire, but I saw some other people who posted Crossfire benchmarks. I don't know what they're doing that I was not doing, but I, after four hours of, like, messing with drivers and reinstalling things, I said, you know what, I'm just going to do the 7970 and the 680. So here's what you get. GTX 680, 61 frames per second. 7970, 55.2 frames per second. That's at 1920 by 1200. NVIDIA Surround versus Ifinity. GTX 680, 25.4 frames per second. 7970, 26.32 frames per second. And again, that was at 5760 by 1050. So very, very close there for both of those cards. So there, I benchmarked the uh, three of the biggest FPS games for you guys, and it's not a very good benchmark, so I, I just say sorry for that. This is going to get a lot of dislikes. I mean, I just like making this video. How do you like that? I said I was going to do it. I did it. I've got other stuff I want to outline and do. I mean, we're going to do our security video and give some stuff away and then make the tech and, and, you know, a bunch of other things. We've also got our PC build videos coming up this week. Yeah, Crossfire is so terrible. We're going to give the graphics cards away, but one at a time. <laughs> one at a time. We're going to give away 7970, and we're going to give away one of the 7870s as well. Uh, I love the 7870s enough that that one's not coming out of my machine. That one's staying in there. So I'm really, really enjoying having one 7870. It's doing just fine by itself for one monitor gaming. I mean, single monitor gaming is just fine. Anyway, uh, final recommendation. 7970 and the GTX 680 by themselves. Uh, less headache and... If you can find a good price on either one of them right now, I've, I've been seeing the uh, the super clocked EVGAs are like on sale right now. I've been seeing those things for like the same price as the stock clocked uh, GTX 680s. They also come with a back plate that keeps the uh, temperatures nice and cool. So that's a bonus. Um, and the 7970s are hot. It, it's really going to be a toss up. If you find either one of those at a good price, 
you can feel okay with, with, with picking it up. Also note that uh, some new graphics cards are coming out very soon from both of these companies. So we'll just keep on the, the lookout for those. Anyway, if you guys have any questions, inbox at techsyndicate.com. Sorry, this video sucked, but it's off my conscience now because I said I would do it. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.